It's November and am I excited. Christmas is coming and Thanksgiving is right around the corner. You've tuned in just in time to hear the fabulous cooking show, The Thanksgiving Episode, where we cook an entire Thanksgiving dinner in Instapots. That's right. Cuban turkey, uh, mashed cassava, and cream cheese flan in the Instapot. Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show. While you're here, please leave us a good review and share this with your friends and family so we can reach more and more people, keeping you in the know on The Julie Tussie Show. Get on the Julie Tussie train. We're going somewhere, baby. Pop the glam pain. It's time for the Julie Tussie Show live guest, current events, scathing exposés. The original suburban bombshell, the big blonde baby, giving you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. And now, here's Julie Tussie. Hey everybody, it's Julie. Thank you so much for tuning in today. As you know, once a month we put on the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking for you to hear and hear the recipes. Um, I don't know why, but it's a craze. It gets huge downloads and I'm so thankful. So thank you, you guys. Also want to give you some great news. Um, beginning, we're going to begin Thanksgiving and Christmas and then the entire 2020 year, the Julie Tussie Show has been picked up by, are you ready for this? Our local ABC 36 WTVQ right here in Lexington, Kentucky. So we're so excited. We're going to have a lot of great things coming your way. Now, if you are not in the area because the podcast definitely is a global thing and huge in America, Paris, London, I love it. You guys can go to youtube.com forward slash C forward slash T-M-E-T-V and you can find all of the first season which is uh, 12 seasons now Uh, the 12th one will be released the 1st of December but they're all there on our YouTube channel you can also just go to YouTube and search Fabulous Cooking Julie Tussie and it'll pull you right there there is a playlist with every episode beginning with one you can kind of laugh and see how I've grown a little bit you can also see how I've lost weight a little bit (laughs) So it's a lot of exciting things. But this this show was particularly exciting because we made an entire Thanksgiving dinner in Instapots and we cooked we cooked Cuban turkey. Now, if you can't hear the recipe, it is like a sour orange juice. It's all like um Cuban foods and it has like a half cup of minced garlic in it and it has adobo and it has garlic powder and you literally marinate your turkey and we did gigantic turkey breasts in the Instapot which cooked in under 45 minutes by the way yes and the most tender moist oh my gosh why didn't I try an Instapot years ago or when they were first invented why didn't I invent them but anyway, you take this marinade then and while you, before you put it in a marinade, you mix all that minced garlic and you you okay, literally stab the turkey breast and the backside and you push that garlic under the skin as much as you can. And then when you cook it, oh my goodness, it's amazing. Also, we did a really unusual vegetable called um yuca or cassava and we mashed it with garlic and onion. Really, really good recipe. And then uh, the girls from um, Bluegrass Marble, who are one of our main sponsors on television, they came in, Lindsay, who owns it, and Audrey, who is her right-hand woman, they came in and were cooking all this with me. And Audrey um, came up with this cream cheese flan that we baked right in the Instapot. And now I am ruined forever for any restaurant flan. It is the most amazing thing. If you do nothing else, make the flan. Make the flan. You will not be sorry. So we're going to go tune into that right now. Thank you so much for listening and being a part of what we're doing. Reach out to me and let me know how you're doing. All right. God bless you all. And happy, happy Thanksgiving. It's coming. Woo! 
Hi, it's Julie Tussie. Who would have thought holiday foods could be so fun? Tune in to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash TME TV. Join the fabulous holiday fun. I'm here to empower you to fix what's broken in your life. Honey, you were not created to be ordinary, but you were created to be extraordinary. You were not created to be common, but you were created to be uncommon. You were not created to be average, but to be above average. I mean, you are remarkable. You are noteworthy. You are impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. Now, isn't that amazing? How many people tell you that? Only on the Julie Tussie Show. Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. Come on over here, Lindsay. Hi. This is Lindsay. Her and her husband, Kevin, own Bluegrass Marble, and they do a fantastic job there. So if you need some granite marble or countertop, go there. And then we have Audrey, who works there also, and these two are like sisters. Oh, my gosh. They are so much like sisters. And then they let me come in and join the family. So we have a fabulous program for you today. I hope that you're ready. So go get your notebook and get ready because we are going to create a hot and spicy and fantastic fantastic Thanksgiving dinner for you. Now, when the holidays happen, we are super, super busy, right? So how about if we make your dinner fast and easy and delicious? Lindsay is going to come and show us how to make her Cuban turkey. And it smell, oh my gosh, the smell yes, in here. Yes. Ah, I'm, I'm hungry already. We're also doing a simulcast and we're on Facebook Live. So hi to all of our Facebook Live fans and friends and family. We're so glad you're here. Do a start watch party and get the word out about the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking, where we're going to make your life healthy and fast and easy. All right, so what do we first do? I'm going to let you kind of step in here with me. And to, how do we get started on your turkey? So I've already got the turkey out. I'll obviously clean it. And then I cut off some of the extra fat that was on there. Oh, you can use a small turkey in your instant pot. Or you can use the breast, which I recommend because the breast is so... Mm. You make sure your turkey is thawed out and completely rinsed and cleaned and ready to go before you start. And then we're going to make a marinade, aren't we? Yes. So okay. this is mojo. This is a citrus one. So I use half of this. I think, what do we say, 12 ounces? What? Yeah, yeah, half of it's about, so it's about a cup and a yeah. half, cup and three-fourths. I don't think you can actually use too, too much, right? Because no, I don't think so either, it's a marinade. to be honest. With, okay. Yeah, I think you can use the whole bottle if you really wanted to. Okay. It depends on, there we go, yep. See, and to me, uh, more is always better. <laughs> yeah. Right. How about you, girl? Amen. Amen. <laughs> um, and then we've already done, it's just half a cup of um, garlic. Min minced garlic. garlic yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. This is Cummins, right? Cumin. 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 Sorry. Cumin. That's all right. It's coming in to be cumin. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. is that about two tablespoons, yes, right? Yes, okay. Yes. Two tablespoons of cumin, and half cup of garlic. Yes. And this is? I see a Oh, the dope. The dope. oh, okay. Let's talk about this a little bit, yeah, Lens. Yeah. What is this? Let me smell it. All-purpose seasoning. Yeah. It's called adobo. It's yeah. in the world food section with the Hispanic yes, foods. Yes, it is. Yeah. So you can get that at Kroger's, too. Oh, it smells good. And look on here. It shows it can go on burgers. Okay, everything. Everything. Literally, right. it goes on everything I cook at my house. Really? Yeah. I'm going to have to start using that. It so does. how much did you use? About two tablespoons of that, too? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, All right. yes, yes. And then... I don't remember. That's the adobo. Oh. I think this that was, was a garlic, garlic powder. powder. Oh, okay. So, oh, so we're using minced garlic. So this is a really strong garlic, garlic yes, flavor. Yeah. So, so two tablespoons of garlic powder yep. and two yeah. tablespoons of adobo. Yes. There we go. That kind of looks like chicken, like that powder that makes chicken soup in a yeah. cup. It's kind of chickeny smelling. And then just a little pinch of salt. Okay. And then a little pinch of pepper. Right, so we're going to whisk sure. this together. And this mojo is kind of a citrus um, mm -hmm. flavor. Are, yeah. Were we going to put white wine in it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so is it, um, it's white cooking wine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, and how much of that goes in there? Um, Let's see. I wrote it down for you. One cup. Oh, okay. So you want okay, me to right. pour it in and yeah. es estimate yeah, yeah, yeah. with you? Okay. Yeah. What does estimate? 
really smells like wine. Doesn't is this wine? I've not used it I before. Don't. It smells like wine, for certain. All right, oh, it and does. Then, I even... Doesn't it? All right, and so then we need a ha one cup of lemon juice. So you yeah. just took a whole lemon, right? Yeah, that's We're what I did. I like squeeze fresh. the juice in like this. Yep. Okay. okay. Put that turkey up because we want to be able to show the viewers what you do because you have to do something to the turkey. Yes. <laughs> so you go and you stab it. All and it said top and bottom in your directions yes. too. So yes. yes. Wow. That's amazing. So then what would you put this in to marinate it? Would you put it in like a bowl that's kind of deep to, so it gets more of the... So we normally put it in like a cooking pan and then we rotate it every seven hours. So now this is kind of when it gets kind of dirty. We're going to okay. marinate it and we're going to make sure all these little garlics get inside. So you marinate it for 24 hours. Nice. Now you're not putting any water in the bottom like a nope. lot of recipes call for. Nope. And wow. This smells. Oh my gosh. It smells fantastic. And then I'm just going to How about this. if I do this yep. too? Wow. All right. So that's all you do. You too can get a blue and leopard cup right here from the JulieTussieShow.com. My own cup. Oh, and you can also get the pink leopard cup. <laughs> <laughs> to get your own pink or Tiffany blue leopard ombre sparkle cup holding 30 ounces and keeping your drinks hot and cold for 24 hours, visit the JulieTussieShow.com slash shop. So now we're going to make the most amazing Cuban dish I've ever heard of besides a Cuban turkey. I mean, really? Cuban turkey? I'm so excited. It smells great in here. And to go with that, there is a really popular food, evidently, in the Cuban community called yuca. And it's kind of like a potato, but like a nut. So this is what it looks like. I actually got this at Meyer. It's all waxy. Have you girls noticed that it's like really waxy? Yeah. And um, I had to have Gary cut it in chunks to cook. But we're going to make mashed yuca today. And it is going to be divine. I'm really looking forward to it. So what you do is you take the yuca and you cut it into chunks about this big. All right. So I have all of those done. Going to take the, we have the instant pot right here. We're going to put a cup and a half of water in here. So this is a trivet. It comes with your instant pot. And it comes with it, and it's really to lift your food out. So I'm going to put all of the yucas in here. It's also called cassava. Did oh, you know that? Know. It's like a Casanova cassava. I like <laughs> it. I like it a lot. All right, so we're going to get these cooking, and I'm going to go over to the stove and show you the ingredients that are going in this when they come out of the Instant Pot. So now we're getting ready to do the yuca it's in the Instant Pot right now cooking, and I am going to uh, saute some onions. So I've got half to three-fourths of a nice size onion, medium size onion. Had my pan warm already, so. Let me throw this up here. Thank you. And then I'm gonna take about a half a cup of minced garlic. Now, if I had time, I would do fresh, but I don't, so I'm just going to use this canned minced garlic. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Woo! This is going to be so good. It smells great. So we're going to cook this off until the onion is translucent. That's how you know it's done. Stephanie Wells, master stylist at Color Creation Salon in Richmond, Kentucky, specializes in custom hair color and precision cutting. Make your appointment with Stephanie today. Hair by Steph Wells. Beautiful hair they won't forget. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. 
Yes, with me, no topic is off limits. But in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote, unquote, live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. Now we're going to make flan, and uh, Audrey is over at the stove. She's getting ready to make caramel to put in the bottom of the pan, and then we're going to continue the process. So we're just going to dump a whole cup of sugar. Okay, so just dry sugar in a frying pan. See how it's getting chunky? I do, and I'm starting to see a little liquid in there. For those of you watching by Facebook, we're sorry you can't see us, but we'll show you in just a minute. So will you put it in kind of clumpy or will it be completely liquid? No, it'll be completely liquid. When it's when done, it yep. It'll actually brown and, and if you leave it on too long, it'll burn, won't yes. it? So it's kind of a, you got to watch so once, the color. Yeah, once you get it where you want it, you got to take it off the heat immediately. Otherwise it'll... Okay. I did not know. I guess I never thought about how you make caramel. Neither did I thought it was already made somehow. <laughs> so oh, no. Audrey, you've made it before. Yes. So how do you know... When it's the right so color. So you just got to make sure all the clumps are gone. Okay. And so the if all the clumps are gone. The color doesn't matter, so you don't have to turn it down or anything yeah. to get the clumps out. Okay. So and we have, I have mine on like seven, and it goes up to um, actually nine. So it's a pretty medium high. And you want to let it off the heat for a second before you put it right in the pan. The pan will make a pop noise. Okay. So this, this pan yeah, will? It's going yes. to kind of scare you a little bit. Okay. Let me move this out of your way because you might want to move over there a little bit. Okay. So now that all our clumps are gone, you can see that. Okay. Just like that. So we're going to remove it from the heat the for heat. a minute. And then see how it's Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Wait a minute. You're going to pour it in and then pick it up yeah. with the mitts? I'm scared. How, it, how does it not stick to the pan? Because it's a non-stick pan. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right, just set that back on the stove, sweetheart. Can you, you have a good? I tip it back and forth. So we're tipping it back and forth very, very carefully. And when I read the directions edges. online, it said to let it keep doing that a little while till it cools a little bit yeah. and then and then so you're trying to get it up the sides a little bit so now we're going to make the actual flan you saw the caramel caramel yeah. <laughs> I wonder what you, who is it north that says caramel and the south says caramel you think I think so yeah I, I think, think so. caramel so we're going to go ahead and make the actual flan that goes in on top of that so go ahead and tell us how to okay. do this so we have a can of condensed, sweetened condensed milk. I love that so stuff. So we're going to pour that into our blender. And you can use a mixer. You can um, use a mixer, but a blender is easier, right? Yeah. Okay. So one can, I think there are like 14 you, ounces, I think. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to hand mix it because you won't get it the right consistency. Okay. So we'll do that. Now, Audrey, you can just set that bowl right in the okay. sink, honey. And then we're going to take just a thing of cream cheese. Eight just ounces one, of cream yeah. cheese. Put that in there. Boop. <laughs> there we go. And then three eggs. Nothing too, too fancy. Get all that in there. And then we'll put our lid on our blender. You're getting with it. It looks like eggnog. Yeah, no, it does. <laughs> Doesn't it? Make sure it's. Um, where we're going to put it, let's put a dash of salt and a little bit of uh, vanilla. vanilla in it. Did you want to do that? Yeah. All right. So just a pinch of salt to kind of bring that sweet flavor out. And where'd the vanilla go to? I need to get you some. Okay. That looks good. Yeah. Now. I'm going to bring this over if you think that it's um, yeah, let's put that cool enough. Yeah. We'll put it on the trivet. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Where's your spatula? Will you need it or not? Yeah. You okay. Just pour this right on top. Lindsay's going to help you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you're going to get it all. It's good to the last Don't drop. Waste. Yeah. yeah. No wasting. 
Now you made this already for your family, and yes. you have little kids. What was their response? They loved it. They, they loved it. It's just like cheesecake. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and All then right. We're gonna cover it with more foil. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me get this. Out. They actually make uh, flan pans that you can get. They come with a cover too for the instant pot, right? Yes. But now, if you didn't have an instant pot, you could. Could you put this in a a glass pan, or would it have to be in metal? Do you know? You and put it put in the it, oven. You can put it in a glass pan in the oven, but it does require a lot more. Uh, okay. And I believe you have to put it in a bath of water, too. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you can always research that on Google if you like this recipe and yeah. make it in the oven if you don't have an instant pot. And then pot. you want to cool this. Okay, so yes. So gonna... it's going to go in the refrigerator. They said 24 hours is best. Yes. Okay. So the minimum is three hours. Okay. But right. it's not going to be as set after three hours. Okay, so okay. wait, hold on. So I put this in the Instant Pot first, correct? Yes. For how long? Yes. So we're going to put, yeah, we're going to put it um, in water in the Instant Pot. Gotcha. Okay. And we're going to cook that for 14 to 20 minutes. Okay. And then that's depending. when it goes in the fridge, yeah, correct? Yeah. Okay. okay. All, All right. Pot. All right. Good. And then it goes in the fridge 24 hours, which we've already done. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. We'll be right back. It's that time of year and we want to celebrate with you. Get mine and Gary's CD, Merry Christmas, right now at the address on the screen. We wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. To get your very own copy of Merry Christmas by Gary and Julie Tussie, visit cdbaby.com forward slash cd forward slash Julie Tussie 3. cdbaby.com forward slash c forward slash Julie Tussie 3. Honey, let's go shopping at Bluegrass Marble and Granite. All right, but I really don't want to miss the game today. Bluegrass Marble and Granite of Richmond is Madison County's only local fabrication shop for granite, marble, quartz, and tacton countertops. Visit our showroom to view full slabs of natural stone and schedule a free in-home estimate. Always have your drink on a rock with Bluegrass Marble and Granite. You too can get a blue and leopard cup right here from the JulieTussieShow.com. My own cup. Oh, and you can also get the pink leopard cup. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so we're just going to put our pan on our little trivet and stick it in there in three cups of water, just like that. And then we're going to get our lid. So we'll get the lid and then we'll put it on. There is a front and back to the lid. Yes. Make, make sure, sure. It's over there. <laughs> That's going to take a long time. Nope. And now we're going to open the instant pot um, and look at our yucca. There we go. Can you there? I can actually check it right here. It looks like it's right this time. It's going to be amazing, I think. Yeah. I think that's done. Open out. There you go. Very good. Okay. You think it's done enough? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, when, you're, when you're making yucca, there is a stem inside. Now, you girls were telling me that you can actually get this frozen. And I looked all over the countryside here in Richmond and couldn't find it. So anyone who knows, send me a PM me or send me an email. But you take you take it and go in the middle, and you have to pull out this stem, which is it's hot, but it's like a it's like a this all reminds me of a tree. Yeah. Yeah. So there, yeah. can you see that? And it's just like a little stem in the middle that you're not supposed to eat, and it probably wouldn't be delightful. The recipe said to save a little bit of the water. I'm, I'm going to do this to make sure I don't find any more. To save a little bit of the water, because this does look a little dry. This is a new experience for me, and I'm, I'm looking forward to this. So because of that, would you hand me that ladle, pretty please? 
see it right there. Thank you. Yeah. We're gonna. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in from the instant pot, the water. So that's about a quarter cup. I'm gonna put about a half a cup. And then you can see that I have garlic and onion sauteed off. You saw me do that earlier. I'm gonna put this in. I think it's gonna be divine. It's so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're all starving. None of us ate breakfast. All right, now I'm gonna put a little butter in it. The recipe did not call for it, but I'm gonna put a little butter in it. And then I'm going to put in some olive oil. So they called for about a half a cup for this much. I don't think I'll do quite that much. We'll try it and see. A little salt and pepper. Especially salt. I would say it's gonna need salt. And just a little teeny bit of pepper. What do you think? Do you think I can mash it up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. We have mashed yuca with the garlic and onions. And we're gonna make this whole, whole meal for you. And we're gonna plate it up and we're gonna show you what we did. I love the holidays and I want to share a Christmas CD that Gary and I recorded called Merry Christmas. You can download it at the address that you see on the screen right now. We wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. get your very own copy of Merry Christmas by Gary and Julie Tussie, visit cdbaby.com forward slash cd forward slash Julie Tussie 3. cdbaby.com forward slash c forward slash Julie Tussie 3. So now we're going to slice this gorgeous turkey that smells amazing. Oh my gosh. And you know what I want to do, Lindsay, is I want to just take that juice and pour it all over. I know, right? <laughs> I'm being like squeamish of hurting the foil, but <laughs> it looks fantastic. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Look at that. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Look everyone on Facebook Live and television. Mm. Oh, wow. Would you like to see that? Cuban turkey and eat mashed yuca. Look, everyone, doesn't that look great? Mmm, smells good. It does. Smell Yum. Good. It smells so good. <gasps> oh, yeah. So now we're going to plate up this flan. It looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Oh, my goodness, look at that. You literally take it out of the pan after it's chilled and you flip it. You put your plate on top. And you flip it, okay, and get it out like that. Audrey, you did fantastic. You, you and Lindsay did so good. So would you like the honors of sure. cutting and plating this? Oh, my gosh. It looks amazing. I can't wait to taste it. It's got a really, like, bouncy. It does. It's very it's bouncy. Nice. Really? That's so unusual. Do you think you cut you cut through it? Like, how do you know you cut through it? You feel the you bottom? You feel it, yeah. <laughs> Clean hands are fine with cooks, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks great. Amazing. I know you can't wait to taste oh, this, so, so let's get you a fork. So, so excited. <laughs> it looks it's like, flan. it does look like flan, mm. like custardy, but softer. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's delicious. Is it good? Yes, it's so good. And you can top it with fruit if you mm. want it to. Okay. Yeah, you can. Making a mess. But we made an entire Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner in an Instant Pot. I gotta try this. Right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh and it was my yeah. goodness. This I is mean, amazing. It was, it was easy. You know, we do fit fabulous on here. I think we could put a uh, low-fat cream cheese in yes. it, but I just, I think we got to face it. This ain't never going to be fit and fabulous. It's just going to be amazingly mm -hmm. fabulous. It's never going to be, yeah. you know, sometimes it's the holidays, right? Yes. Oh, this is great. Mm. It's I don't think I can stop eating it. Oh, and it's kid friendly. Kids love it. Kids love this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> kid friendly. I love it.
Thank you so much, everybody, for watching today. Lindsay, thank you for coming. Oh, oh my gosh. Time. I hope we cook together more. Oh, yeah. This sure. Cuban Thanksgiving has been special. Audrey, thank you thank so much. Thank you for having us. We want to wish you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you share the show with friends and family. God bless you. Life is my oyster, darling. Pass the hot sauce.